Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. You probably didn't know this about me, but I'm a big fan of James Bond movies. But I'm also a bigger fan of Omega watches. So for this occasion, I'm wearing my Omega Speedmaster with a panda dial on a burgundy red leather bracelet. And you can check out the review of this watch on my channel as well. So for today's video, I wanted to review all of the Omega watches worn by Daniel Craig in his five Bond movies. In those five movies, he wore eight different Omega watches. It's obviously very difficult to rate watches because every each one of us has their own preferences and has their own taste in watches. But there's three criteria that I went by. First criteria is how much I like the watch personally. Second criteria is how much I think this particular watch suits Bond. And when considering that, I was thinking about, you know, combat situations. And the second one is class. You know, James Bond wears suits a lot, so it really needs to fit his style and be very classy as James Bond as a character is. And then the third criteria would be historical significance of a watch. As you know, some wa watches are very recognizable as historical pieces and some watches just, you know, come and go uh, and they're not really remembered well. So let's dig into it. So all of the watches that James Bond wears are Omega Seamasters. And the first one that we have is Diver 300M chronometer, uh, 41 millimeter in diameter and he wore that watch in Casino Royale, the first movie. I think it was in 2005 or so. It's a very iconic watch. It is a watch that has also been worn by a previous James Bond, Pierce Brosnan, and he wore it in all of his, I think, four movies. And the fun fact is this watch was initially a quartz movement watch. And people didn't like it, me neither. So luckily, uh, Omega came up with a automatic uh, movement for for this diver watch. So this watch is a very iconic watch and uh, it's very recognizable and I think it's also great. It's a beautiful watch and I also plan on getting it someday. But what I don't like about it is is this bracelet type of thing. It, it reminds me of 90s a lot and I know that some people really appreciate it, they, they really like it and it is a recognizable uh, part of this watch but I, I just don't dig it. Uh, everything else than that is pretty great and like I said it's a very iconic watch so I believe that we should put it in a category A. So the second watch Daniel Craig wore also in Casino Royale movie was Planet Ocean Big Size. The size of this watch as the name says is, is very big. It's 45.5 millimeter in diameter. Contrary to the first watch that he's wearing in this movie, uh, this one is more for combat situations and it's more for, you know, action-packed scenes. Uh, that's why it's probably much bigger and that's why it has a leather strap because it's much more comfortable when you're, I don't know, running or doing any type of physical activity. Personally, I don't like it and it's probably the worst Omega watch that I've seen Daniel Craig wear in his Bond movies. So without further ado, even though I think it's pretty good for combat situations and it fits Bond style, etc., uh, I'm gonna rank it, I'm gonna put it in a category E. Okay, the third watch that we have is the watch that Daniel Craig wore in Quantum of Solace, the second movie, and it's also Planet Ocean, but it's much smaller in size. Compared to the previous watch, the big size Planet Ocean, this one is 42 millimeter in diameter. And it's not on a rubber, but it's also on a bracelet. I like it better because it's smaller in size, so 42 millimeters is... Even though I have a smaller wrist, I could probably pull it off. But I also like it better because it comes on a bracelet and I think it fits uh, this style of watch much better than, than the rubber strap. I think it's an upgrade over the previous one and I like it better, but I don't like it that much. I like it just one grade up, I would say. So I'm going to put it in category D. And since this movie was put out, I think, in 2008, they probably didn't have, you know, a lot of uh, imagination to come up with a better watch. 
Moving on to the next one. So the next watch Daniel Craig wore in his Bond movies is another Planet Ocean, this time Planet Ocean 600M. So this is obviously the third Planet Ocean uh, made by Omega for Bond. And the size of this watch is also 42 millimeter in diameter. Uh, Daniel Craig wore this watch in Skyfall, which is the third Bond movie he starred in. And it's pretty similar to the previous Planet Ocean. And there are some changes compared to the previous one. Uh, if you look them side by side, first thing that you will notice are small differences in bezel and also on a dial. So for example, Seamaster signature comes in red compared to the white color. And it does give it a little bit more contrast. So it's a bit more uh, playful. To, to put it that way. And there's also a big difference in the helium escape valve, where you can see that it's much rougher on the edges, which is not something I like. I like the previous, the older ones that are kind of more molded and come with watch. This one really sticks out. I, I don't really like it visually, but overall I like the watch better than the previous Planet Ocean again and 40 mm, 42 millimeter in size is the same as the previous one. So I'm gonna rank it again, a category above, so I would put it in category C. Let's see what we have next. So the next watch is Seamaster Aquaterra 150M, 38.5 uh, millimeter in size, which is uh, the smallest watch we've seen so far worn by Daniel Craig in Bond movies. And he wore it in Skyfall movie as well. So this is the second watch that he wore in uh, the same movie. So this is the first time that Aquaterra showed up in Bond movies. And I have to be very honest, I like Aquaterras. I liked them before, I like them to this day. And it's very likely going to be one of my next watches that I acquire for myself. This one also comes on a bracelet with the blue uh, dial with uh, vertical lines. And it also has a date function uh, at 3 o'clock. So this watch is likely for James Bond to wear with a suit. It's much more classier and it's not really for combat situations. Still, I really like it, so I'm going to put it in category B. The next watch that we have is Seamaster 300 Master. The size of this watch is 41 millimeter in diameter and Daniel Craig wore this watch in Spectre movie. So this is the first time we're seeing Daniel Craig wear a watch on a NATO strap. Even though it's a bit similar to the Planet Ocean, it doesn't have the helium escape valve and the dial is a bit different. So first thing that you will notice uh, are cha obviously changes in dial colors. This one has beige colored Seamaster sign and also markers on the dial. Also the markers are pointy. I'm personally not a big fan of NATO straps, even though I don't dislike them. I'm just not used to wearing them. Uh, I probably will at some point though. And for Bond, I think it's pretty good combat watch. It's uh, probably very uh, comfortable and wearable during combat situations. Uh, I'm going to grade it also in category C. So the next watch we have is another Seamaster Aquaterra, this time Aquaterra 150M Master. And the size of this watch is 41.5 millimeter. Daniel Craig wore it in the Spectre movie. And the difference between this one and the Skyfall one, obviously size. So this one is three millimeters bigger in size compared to the Aquaterra in Skyfall movie. So now you're noticing that he's wearing two different watches in the same movie. One is particularly for battle situations and the other one is for more like classy uh, situations where he's wearing suits and there's no fighting and, and things like that. Like I said earlier, I'm, I'm a huge fan of Aquaterra, so this one will have to go in category B for me. And the final watch that we have the watch from No Time To Die. If you haven't seen the movie yet, right after this video, I suggest you go to your cinema and watch the movie. It's really great and I'm not gonna spoil anything for you. So, in No Time To Die, Daniel Craig wore Diver 300M Master Chronometer, which comes in 42 millimeter diameter size. And this one also has something very new that we haven't seen before with his watches. This one comes with a mesh bracelet. You can also buy it with a NATO strap, but uh, in the movie he wore it on this mesh bracelet. There's also one more biggest difference 
with this watch compared to the, all of the previous ones. The case of this watch and the bracelet and everything else was made from titanium. So it's not a stainless steel watch, it's titanium watch. Daniel Craig said that he wanted much lighter watch for combat situations, so Omega came up with this one. I like the beige color on the markers and also on the bezel and the dial, I don't think it's like really black, I think it's more like dark chocolate color and I like the combination of those colors with the Red Sea Master sign. This is the only watch that Daniel Craig wore in No Time to Die movie and this one I would say suits more for combat situations rather than kind of a classy look but I can give it a pass also there. I don't really know how this watch since it's pretty new is going to perform in the future, uh, if it's going to be a collectible, if it's going to be a classic as uh, the first one with the blue bezel and blue dial but only time will tell. What I can say right now is that I personally like it, I also think that it suits a Bond style type of watch pretty well and for that reason I'm going to put it in category B. In total I have to say that I think that Omega could have done a bit better job with watches for Bond movies and even though there are some that I personally like very much there are more watches that I personally wouldn't wear than the ones that I actually would. So that's it for today's video, I hope you guys liked it uh, and let me know what your preferences are on Omega watches worn by Daniel Craig in Bond movies. Uh, do you agree with me? Do you not? Uh, do you have different ranking? Uh, please write it up in comments and I'll see you next time. Bye! Hey you! Thanks for watching this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel and I'll be seeing you soon.